Hey, this is Fawn with Navigating Gluten Free, and today I wanted to talk about the difference between the what it means when they say gluten friendly versus when we say gluten free. And so I started seeing this a few years ago, right? And uh, the first place I noticed it at uh, personally was I went to the spaghetti factory with my husband, and so this was when I still actually went out and you know took those sort of risks. Um, which I've sort of gone away from in the last few years, but let's see, this must have been around um, 2019 or so that I started seeing that, and I saw it on the menu, and I'm like, wait a minute, gluten friendly? I I don't want to be friendly with gluten. You know what I mean? I need to be gluten free. I need to be without the gluten. So. I was a little bit questioning on that and um, you know the the staff of course you know are are like oh we take the precautions and stuff like that but I wanted to take a few minutes today just to talk about what they mean by gluten friendly when um, as opposed to gluten free and why you should know the difference between those it's not just another term for gluten free so the first bit of this that we need to talk about here is um, gluten-friendly as a term, right? So uh, whether you know it or not, gluten-free actually has a, uh, the FDA has very specific guidelines around what it means when people say gluten-free. You can't just put this label on any product. You can't just do this all over the place. It needs to be very specific, and that specific is 20 parts per million or less, okay? so. It can be, you know, really hard to conceptualize and everything like that. Um, but 20 parts per million, gluten versus all the other types, um, gluten cannot have more than 20 parts per million. And if it does, it cannot be labeled gluten free. Okay. Um, now, that label itself doesn't necessarily mean that they've tested it and all of that sort of thing. Um, but the the real important thing when we're talking about uh, gluten friendly versus gluten free labels uh, is that gluten friendly doesn't have a definition, right? So gluten free has this very specific definition that the FDA has put out there, and it's really important to keep that in mind that this term gluten friendly is getting away from all of these. So they're not. So if you say gluten zero, gluten free, um, free of gluten, um, you know, all of the things around it that mean that it doesn't have gluten, that's what the FDA is saying. So when they say gluten friendly, it is not implying that there's no gluten, right? The actual implication is that there's a lot of gluten, um, because you're being friendly with gluten, right? So they're getting away from all of those labeling. And so, um, you know, part of it is just the legalities of it and wanting to, wanting to have this available for people, but not wanting to have to, you know, have this separate area and really make sure that it's gluten free. Now that doesn't mean that everyone who puts gluten free on their menu is going to have super safe practices and all of that, but we can talk about that another time. Okay. So the people that they're targeting with this is not those of us, you know, that have got celiac disease, potentially celiac disease, uh, or, or are really, really sensitive to gluten and will have um, a strong reaction if we got gluten, right? Um, the people they're targeting are, I don't know, I don't know any of these people, I always hear about them, that are gluten free because it's fun, <laughs> you know. Um, they're obviously not targeting people that are ke that are keto. Like this is pasta, right? Or it's usually stuff like that. So the people that they're targeting are people that are intolerant to gluten. But you know, if there's a little cross contamination, it's actually not that big of a deal to them. And that's who is getting targeted here. So if you do have celiac disease, if you are sensitive to it you really shouldn't be consuming anything that has that gluten friendly on there. It kind of sucks, right? Like I'd like to be able to trust it. I'd like to be able to go out and eat this stuff, but I just can't. So 
I don't do anything that says gluten friendly because I don't like that they're getting away from the technical definitions of this stuff. Um, now, when you think about it from the restaurant's point of view, right? So it, those of you who are a little bit new here, maybe don't know, um, I actually used to own a food car. I, I own and I ran, I was on this food car for many, many hours a day, all days of the week. It was crazy. So I am familiar with what you need to run a food business, right? And you really want to attract as many types of people as possible. So what these restaurants are doing by putting gluten friendly out there is they're saying, Hey, if you have someone in your party, that's gluten free, we can help you out with that. Right. But not someone, but they're also sort of saying like, but we're also friendly with gluten. We like our gluten. Um, and that's, that's an important distinction, right? So they are trying to bring people into their restaurant that want to be gluten free, but they also are trying at the same time to caution people that there's probably cross contamination that you're going to get with this. For example, with the pasta, I, I don't know anything specific about spaghetti factory, which is where I said I saw that at first, um, when I did eat there, I did get sick. Uh, and that's my own fault. I'm not blaming them at all. Um, that's just me knowing and having this experience and telling you about it so that you don't have to. Um, but I think that a lot of these places usually cook, um, all the pasta in the same water. So what they have is they have this like giant sort of, um, like water bath thing where they have these little baskets that they then um, dunk in, right? So then when these baskets are dunked in, then the pasta cooks, it's all the same water. And so they might have a basket that they say is just for the gluten free one, but if it's in the same water, then it's going to be the same. Um, other restaurants do make sure to have fresh water and they, they'll actually, um, boil a pot of water and cook it in a pan that's saved for gluten free pasta. And that is the safe thing to do. But uh, most people, those who are owning restaurants, who are working in kitchens, a lot of them don't have a good understanding of how careful you have to be. Um, and so that's something I would expect out of a restaurant that states gluten friendly is like, we don't want to have to take all these extra steps to make this super gluten free and, you know, under that 20 parts per million. Um, so we're, we want to be able to cook our, all the pasta in the same water. And so that's what they end up doing is they call it gluten friendly instead of gluten free. And the last thing that I just really wanted to say was that is gluten friendly safe for celiacs? And I think that you've seen from my reaction and what I've said so far about this, but I strongly discourage anyone with celiac disease, even anyone who is sensitive to some gluten contamination to stay away from anything that's labeled gluten free. So far, I've only seen it at restaurants, but um, there's definitely a potential of seeing it on packaging and anything that says gluten friendly, if you have any kind of sensitivity at all to gluten, just stay away from that. Um, just see that as that gluten friendly, just see it as a warning sign and see it as something that says this contains gluten rather than something that says this is gluten free. All right. Um, you know, one of the things that, that happens when something like this gets more popular, um, you know, gluten free is kind of getting more and more popular. More people are doing, people are finding issues with it, but you also get people who are doing it because it might help. And, people who uh, maybe need to be more careful, but uh, peer pressure and just really wanting to fit in um, where they end up going out to restaurants and then having whatever. 
you know, with all of the, the popularity and stuff comes being able to have a lot more gluten-free options out there, which is fabulous. I've seen so many more options. It's been over nine years since we've been gluten-free and in that time it's, you know, a lot of the options have expanded and it's really great and I appreciate that. Um, but it's just also important to recognize that when it becomes more popular, there there's also that other side to it where um, these companies are trying to, you know, attract everybody. And so some of those people don't need to be as careful as um, someone with celiac disease um, or even just someone that's just sensitive to the cross-contamination. Um, and so we really need to be looking for those, those signs that it really is gluten-free, like the, um, the gluten-free labels. Uh, because if it does say gluten-free, free of gluten, um, then there is that FDA requirement that it needs to have 20 parts per million or less. Um, and going and to restaurants that are 100% gluten-free and really, because they, they are out there, there is these great 100% gluten-free um, businesses and we should really try to help support them and keep them open. I've seen so many of them go down since COVID and it is just a real shame. And so if we can try to support those instead of going to these places that have gluten friendly out there, I think that that is the best solution possible. Um, but back to the point at hand, gluten friendly, Think of it like a big party with some gluten. So it's a, it's a gluten-free noodle that is just partying it up in that water full of gluten. So it's just not going to be safe if you have any sensitivity at all. All right, so um, I hope to see you here again. And um, go ahead and follow if you want some more information about uh, lived gluten-free experiences and that sort of thing. And see you around.